Hello, and welcome back to that episode of Pokemon Origins. In this episode, we're going to be looking at Swablu and Altaria. Swablu's Japanese name is Tiltil. It is the Cotton Bird Pokemon, and it's number 333 in the National Dex, and stands at 0.4 meters tall or 1 foot 4 inch. It also wears weights 1.2 kilograms or 2.6 pounds. Swablu is a normal flying type from Generation 3. Swablu is a round blue parrot-like creature with two long blue feathers on its head and fluffy white wings that resemble cotton or clouds. It also has a short rounded white beak, beak and small blue tail feathers. Swablu seems to be a blue bird combined with a cotton with cotton or a cloud. It may also be based on the ultramarine lorikeet. It is behaviorally similar to, a, to the grey jay as they both like sitting on heads. There are no gender differences between Swablu and Swablu's uh, shiny form is golden colour instead of blue. Pokédex entries tell us that Swablu can't relax if itself or its surroundings are dirty, so it's a very clean Pokémon. And again, Swablu loves to sit on heads. The name Tilto comes from Til, which is the Epsilon Draconic, a star in the constellation Drago, which is the dragon, and it's also a reference to the play Lozio, Lozio Blue, which means the blue bird is a French play. And this is a play about two siblings, Mytil and Tiltil, tasked with finding the bluebird of happiness, so that's obviously how it's related there. The name Swablu comes from a combination of Swab, referencing its cotton-like Swab wings, and Blue. Swab may also come from Swallow, a type of bird. Moving on now to Altaria, its Japanese name is Tiltalis. It is the humming Pokemon, and is number 334 in the National Dex. Stands at 1.1 meters tall, or 3 foot 7 inches, and weighs 20.6 kilograms, or 45.4 pounds. A swablu will evolve into an Altaria starting at 35. Altaria is a large blue phoenix Pokemon with a long neck and white cheeks, and its feathers resemble a cumulus cloud. It has two long blue feathers from the back of its head, like swablu, and it wraps its wings around itself to stay warm. It has two feet, which each have four toes on them and has five tail feathers, the central one being slightly larger than the others. It's based on Peng, a Chinese legendary bird of enormous size, and it's said to travel around 3000 li, which is a measurement it's around about 500 meters, in one flap of its cloud-like wings, obviously where we get the inspiration for Altaria from. Now gender differences, it has none, and shiny form, like Swablu, it's golden color, so it looks pretty cool. And Pokedex entries tell us that Altaria sings in a beautiful soprano and that it blends into the clouds on a sunny day. The name Tiltalis comes from again the constellation and also the play. Altaria comes from Alto, which is Italian for high, or from Altus, which is Latin for high, or from Aria, meaning Italian for air, or from Aria, meaning Portuguese for melody, referencing Altaria's singing ability. It may also come from Altaria, the brightest star in the constellation Aquila, the eagle. You can now see on screen the size comparison for Swablu and Altaria. You can see they are fairly small, Swablu almost being about the normal bird size, although still a bit bigger. And Altaria, um, yeah, it doubles in size really, just about, or triples in size really. So yeah, they are pretty large, but not too big really. Finally, moving on to some sprite comparisons here, you can see, as this is Generation 3, we don't have much to look at, but in Generation 3, it was just, you know, sit there, sat there flying in its static position really. Generation 4, it kind of had a more dynamic pose, and then in Generation 5, it's gone more, you know, down to the original sprite again. And with Altaria, fairly the same really, in Generation 3, it's just, you know, sat there, not doing much at all. Generation 4, in Diamond, it's actually, like, it's like swooping down, and in Platinum, it's kind of coming back up, so it's kind of, you know, moved on from its Diamond Sprite, and is now swooping back up to fly again. And then in Generation 5, it's back to its normal Generation 3 sprite. And so in this episode of Pokemon Origins. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.